start trying um to be honest with you i'm having my selfish year so i'm gonna give myself probably like one to two years then i'll pursue a relationship or whatever i desire hmm. you have any kids yes i have a beautiful daughter she's six mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. why do you think it works like that works like what you're already a single mother, which is no shot. My mom was a single mother, but talk about your selfish years when you got a kid. Yeah, but my, my, my question is, you said that, I said, is it time to give up a dream? You said, never give up a dream. That people get married in their 60s and 80s, which is always this fanciful shit like that. Well, so if you thought it, so listen. So we all have Listen, no, no. Your daughter didn't study, didn't do her homework, and say, well, mom, people pass tests all the time. You'd say, all right, daughter, just live life like that. I'm not understanding. Did you ask me a question or? Yeah, would you allow, why are you, not, when are you gonna grow up and become a serious woman? I feel like I'm, I'm being serious. I'm taking my life seriously. But you said you're in your selfish years. Yeah, I think we all have, you know, when you're when you're in a relationship, you really can't be selfish because you you are constantly having to think about your partner. So at this, you know, at this current moment in my life, and I want to be selfish. I want to worry about me and not have to think about making somebody else happy. You know what I'm saying? Make a baby. Why did I make a baby? One, I was young. Two, um, you, were 20, you were you were twenty four. Yeah, weren't so you? you weren't young. I mean, technically, youngest I think fourteen, ma'am. Youngest fourteen. I That's was engaged, it. so that was my main reason to do it. it. Doesn't count for marriage. So don't 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 get combative. Don't get fussy, because 
you say you want to be selfish and I'm just sitting here listening. I'm like, you're a mother. Yeah, selfish for my daughter. Uh, reason no, you haven't to... said for your daughter. That's, you for said, the no, you know, man, man, I hear very, I hear very well. I hear very well. And <laughs> you only brought your daughter up when I called it out. It's for both of us. Of course it is. So how's doing dicks going to help your daughter? Doing dicks? Who said who's doing, who's doing dicks? Being who's, selfish, doing who's, your own life. I mean, that, that's, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing that, in your single years? What are you doing in your single years is going to help you become a wife? I work on myself. Work on what my priorities, my goals, my... My, 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 my. Johnny Gill ass. My, 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 me, 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 me. Who listen to this selfishness? A yeah, wife? I'm, not, I'm proud. I'm proud if you want to say I'm being selfish. Okay, I'm finally being selfish. Good. I was Die alone. You can be proud and die alone. That's cool, man. We're fine. We're oh, honestly, not, I'm more, I'm more happy. I, I'm more happy with women like you who are loud, and proud, so we can identify you. So we, can, so guys can just learn to just say, congratulate you, live in your truth and your power. I will so not I'm, die. I will guarantee you. Of course not. Of course not. They're all gonna get married to high value men and have solid little children and. and travel and drive Mercedes and have personal shifts and all this other stuff. Of course, it's all going to happen. Mm -hmm. That's what you've yes. been told. That's why, you, and I'll be honest, that's why at 30 years old, you have such a defiant attitude. Your attitude's kind of trash regarding relationships. Okay. Relationships, man. Relationships. I didn't say period. It's just kind of trash regarding relationships. Because apparently to you, relationships hinder you from being selfish. But I've got news for you. An, a, an average man provides a woman options. A man of value provides a woman freedom. You can't be selfish as a single mama. You got to do what you got to do. Okay, that's that's a fact. I know. So why you'd rather be? I don't. We have deified being a single mother when that shit is hard. That's exactly why I have to be selfish because I don't have time to. No. I have that. You don't have to be, being selfish doesn't get you a man. Doesn't get you a husband. I'm looking for a Try. man right now. I think I'm content. I, mean, I want you to understand. See, this is what I mean. So you are prepared. Well, that's fine. That's I, that's why I'm glad to do these things because they think it they think it's a game. Well, Here, what's you Did you go to college? Did you go to college? Yes. I actually what, went to what's, you're breaking what's your degree in? I didn't graduate college. Oh, okay. What was your profession? I was into. Uh, I was in school for nursing. What is your profession? I'm in the airline industry. So you're a flight attendant. Yes. And next. You're a sky waitress. Shout out to the sky waitresses. Not really a good, not a good profession for a single mother. But see, I want you guys to understand that she fits in that kind of creative area, and you find a lot of women who are hairstylists and flight attendants because they can fly places. And but you say you're gonna do it for two more years, and then you're gonna decide to find a husband. Or decide to be in a relationship. Do you want any more kids one day? Oh yeah, I definitely want. How many more? Um, probably like two, two more. Uh, when you're, I'm assuming you want to have kids in the context of a marriage, or do you care? Yeah, I'll be, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to wait for. So, oh, okay. so when you're married and pregnant with the next child, do you want to have to work to pay significant bills? No. Okay. Uh, then after you have your two other kids and your one kid, what percentage of the overall family financial load do you want to have to be responsible for for an entire lifetime? I mean, if um, you don't, I mean, if you it, don't provide it, 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 fall, it, it's not there. I feel like, like, like it will be like old style parenting. Like, so maybe like the groceries or, you know, it's like stuff like that. In other words, less than 10%. Correct. Less than five percent. Like the groceries. Groceries. Yeah. Is, 
So we I, really don't want to have. I, I, I'm not judging, man, but groceries for, for you don't really want to have to provide any real money. That's fine. Five, ten percent. Oh, I, I I saw my parents do it. You know, the man took care of mostly everything, whatever. Even though she made a decent amount of money, she made over you know six figures. All she did was the. Your mother you know, married to your father. Yes. Are they still married? Yes. Okay, you're not your mom. You're okay. an independent modern woman, and you want to be a housewife. Yes. Ain't gonna happen. Because the kind of men that make the kind of money to be able to afford three kids and a lifestyle, two hundred some odd thousand dollars, ain't gonna put up with this attitude. Okay, I how do you think? I'm not, not gonna put. I'm not gonna put up a modern woman. It's not. It's not going to put up. What I'm saying is the kind of men that can afford a family of three in a middle class, upper middle class lifestyle aren't putting up with a modern woman. They want traditional feminine women who are, the, they're not selfish. They are selfless. They put themselves last. But they I feel put like the man first and their family second. That was me for about eight years. So it doesn't matter. And they want a woman that's like that in all things at all times. They don't want a woman who goes through a selfish phase. Matter of fact, when they find a woman who are like you, they say she's a chameleon and they'll hit the skins and they'll leave. They don't marry her. They want to, they, they run a background check. And as soon as they find an independent street, you're in, you're not in wife category. We're talking about men who want, you're talking about you don't want to pay for groceries. So a man's gonna have to make well over six figures to have, have $1.5 million in kids. And you can have, I mean, you, you got this little smirk, like, <laughs> it's not a game. I'm doing this so other women can hear. I'm doing this so other women can hear how crazy this sounds. I'm not saying. No, there's nothing else to be said. You've said pretty enough. You and your selfish face. And there's nothing out there that you're doing that's going to be of value to a husband. I think it is. Me being selfish will prepare me in order when that right man, I will be in the right space in order to give him like a hundred percent of me. At this moment, I cannot give no man, not even 50% of me right now because I'm not even thinking about a man. You know what I'm saying? So in all honesty, when it comes down to like, let's say if a year or two years from now, when I'm in the right state of mind in order to you know, be able to have uh, a relationship with no walls and whatnot, you know, then I'll be able to give myself like that, you That's know? A, okay, so let me ask, let me ask you two questions. If a man who, of the man who can meet your standards, uh -huh. he can meet a whole lot of other women's standards. Uh -huh. Okay. Why would he pick you, a woman who has to go on this selfish journey and all that stuff? Why would he not pick a woman who's already in her feminine and not wavering, did not have to go through anything? She's just ready to go. Okay, he can pick the other. Oh, no, oh, no, listen, and, and no child. Badly, he can listen, pick the other. Listen, I think you need to understand, the kind of men you're looking for are very rare. Women aren't rare. Cute isn't rare. What you have to offer any the market, which is men, is in abundance. So the person who is rare has to pick. He can only pick one wife. Why would he pick a wife that was in this position when he can pick a woman who just has her mind right from the jump? Okay, so when I'm thinking about my future husband, I'm thinking he's destined for me. So yeah. I'm not I'm not thinking, where, oh, he's- Where did you get that belief at? Where'd you get that belief from? Where did I get that belief? I believe in, what is it? Um, law of attraction you know you I don't know I just believe that my husband is my husband right so if I have that mentality I'm, okay this man is going to be my husband this man is going to be my husband no my husband will find me so how many I'm, men are there for you how many men mm -hmm. I've been in one serious relationship so well, I don't I'm know just, I mean I'm just asking because you mentioned destiny so is there only one man that's destined for you uh, honestly, yeah. 
Okay. Then if that's the case, why do you have another man's child? Because at one point in time, that one man was... No, 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 no. Think about what you just said. If you, if, if you're his, then you should, if you're, if he's yours, then you should be his. And if that's the case, you shouldn't have another man's child. You know, that, yeah. So just, I, just think about the logic. Just think, don't, 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 don't get defensive. Just think about the logic. If you guys are destined to be with one another, that means you should be only for him. That means your womb should only be for him. That's correct. And that was my mistake for having, I can't say my or, or, or there is no such thing as somebody that's destined to be with you. It's a choice. It that is. is Disney fantasy that's been marketed to the women in the West to sell you Valentine's Day cards and engagement. This is a new creation. And my question to you is if your mother and father were married and they're still married, did they not model a, what a healthy, functioning marital relationship was to look like? I mean, I don't think that marriage is perfect, but they did definitely model what marriage is, you know? So do you want to have what they had? Um, I would say, yeah. So if I, okay. So if you were to look in the public, what would be your relationship ideal role model? Your relationship ideal model? Um, what couple do you say that's, that's who you want to be? Damn! Honestly, I would say a man like Russell Wilson. So, you know. <laughs> uh, and if I ask you who you're, who I ask you, there's your black feminine, your black femininity ideal. Who is that public figure? Uh, who's my ideal public figure? I honestly would say Beyonce. Femininity. Beyonce? Femininity. Mm -hmm. Makes I'm sense. Okay. Makes sense. It makes sense because the only way your world will work is if you're Sierra. And you wanted Russell Wilson. And the thing is, I, this has been invaluable because there's so many women like you who just think well, how can I say this? You can believe what you want. You can live in your truth. But here's the thing. The likelihood of you getting Sierra's prayer, you have a better chance of hitting the lottery, especially for a provider male. And the man that would be better suited for you, he's probably better off without you. And I mean this this way because you're selfish. A, a wife doesn't have a selfish streak. Are you an only child? No. Okay. So, uh, and I don't mean any insult by this, but seriously, have you ever had any therapy? Um, no. Have you ever considered it? Oh yeah, I think I have. Just recently. Just recently. Within I think like you should, I think you should look into it. I think you should look into it because what you're saying, ma'am, may may feel like it's protecting you, but it's very unhealthy. Very unhealthy. Relationships are about, life is about people. And I know you're on Instagram, you got to protect your ego and say certain the things that you want to maintain. Well, the room goes away. You can't live this way. Not especially get the outcomes you're talking about, because there's not one person that's destined for you. You choose somebody. Life ain't about love. Your marriage ain't about love. It's about an agreement. And so, my question is, do you have what it takes to go 30, do you have what it takes to go 40 years with somebody? Yeah, if I'm married, yeah, of course, you know, but if I'm not, you know, just like my last yeah. situation, I, you know, eight years down the road for nothing. You know what I'm saying? So. But you could have married that person. I don't have time to. You could have uh, married that person. No, some men are selfish. So. But, well, you're a selfish woman. That would have been perfect. Oh. I plead the fifth on this one. Uh-huh, right. Don't blame it on the men. You picked him. We are what we attract. So last last questions. Last questions. All right, because let's just say your right person doesn't show up for whatever reason. What does life look like at 55 years old socially for you if you're unmarried? If I'm unmarried, um, 
I hope um, to have friends who are also yeah and just live life enjoy life oh, for yeah. what it is okay uh what state do you live in washington dc okay uh will you have your two well, 2.2 million dollars you'll need to retire on at age 65 to live from 65 to 85 as a flight attendant um i'm hoping to do more than that but yeah okay. Just with six, eights, nines, and some tens. Especially when you start talking about high-end luxury realty. Uh, but they're all single. I've seen so many on Instagram, Atlanta Realtor, Atlanta Realtor, and I'm like, what is this like every day? But then you look at it, it's like, are you a realtor or are you an IG model? Oh, you're the, it's, it's the same thing. See, you look at a realtor's page, and if she doesn't have a or banker or some, if she's not in her little business suit with the business card, usually she got some booty picture out, or they're taking all kind of photos. They're realtors to try to catch because if you're a realtor and somebody like myself come along, yeah, I'm looking for a little spot over in Buckhead or whatever, they, they love to go house hunting, they love to walk properties, they love to just dream, and they're thinking that one day, one day, Mr. Keith Henry is going to come along and say he wants that $1.8 million little hideaway that's da 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 And then he and I will just fall madly in love and we'll make little Cosby kids and da 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 I tell you, the, the realtor, the realtors are generally pretty. Why? Who want to buy a house in Shirley? I mean, sorry, Shirley, Shirley, pretty now. Who want to buy a house? From, from Big Shirley. Ain't nobody buying a house from Karen, but they will buy it from Alexis. Oh, yes, yes. Go on Instagram and you will see their realtor asses out there. I'm like, damn, would you put this picture up on your company's website? No. I mean, they look almost like they're gonna be in. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the hundreds of these women I've seen. They're in Miami, they're in Beverly Hills, they're in New York City, they're in Atlanta, they're in Chicago, they're in Houston, and they're in Dallas. But Atlanta takes the cake for black female realtors. Got a little money. And shout out to all of y'all, realtor in particular, because the realtor uh, I would put the realtor almost like if we were doing Sex in the City, the realtor would almost be a Charlotte kind of girl. She has the look, um, and she has a lot of the mind. She has a lot of the uh, core traits to be a good girlfriend or wife. The problem is that she is she willing to give up? Is she willing to get? Is she or is she still trying to hold out for somebody who makes ten thousand dollars annually or more? Why? Because they see, could, if these women are realtors. Um, they are, they work at luxury dealerships like Mercedes dealerships, uh, Mercedes dealerships, uh, foreign dealerships. So yeah, if you talk about six figure vehicles and all that, but more of them tend to be realtors. But the thing is ladies, the men are very small. Very, very rarely is a single man going to look. And a lot of the ladies will tell you, when a lot of times when a man is a single man looking, uh, they're getting, they may be getting it, about to get a divorce or something. But I honestly think you can find a lot of executive wives and wives from the realtor group. Let's talk about it. Are you a realtor? A realtor is a, is a class, again, you're around high value men, around high value men lifestyle. They tend to live in like in Atlanta. They live in, you know, Buckhead, Midtown. Some of them actually bought homes, but they moved back into the city. They're, they're always up at, uh, they're always at, you know, little sushi spots. Why? Because it's part of what they do as a realtor is have a social life and a network to sell their listings to these people. Makes sense. A 
try. There are also flight attendants. Uh, there are also flight attendants. Uh, and uh, event planners. Flight attendants and event planners. Yeah, buddy. Flight attendants and event planners. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see that one. All right. Let's close that window. Do do do. How are you hoping to do that on a flight attendant salary? Um, I don't plan to just stay here. So I have my own plans and agenda. So. Mm -hmm. What profession do you plan on? What profession do you plan on pursuing that's going to give you that kind of income and investment to save you? Um, that's my personal. Um, no, no, ma'am. You can just tell us. You can just. You don't have to give us the exact plan. Just ask the. Just the. Just I, the profession. Honesty, a real estate plan. So, <laughs> I mean, it's not just me, but yeah. You can laugh all you want, but that's. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Kevin, God damn it. Yeah. Okay. God Next. damn it. I'm laughing. I don't need a cook, but... Did you, have you watched this since the beginning? It's funny have you how... Watching this since the beginning? Man, stop. Have you been watching this since the beginning? She belongs um, to the streets. I say, um, here and there. <laughs> God damn it. Execute order 66. I told you, the realtor, here she is. Extrovert, attention seeking. You couldn't make this stuff up. I don't see what's Pretty Hopeful, optimistic. I really don't see what's going on. Oh, God. God damn it. God damn it. God. I'm missing the joke, so please fill me in. You, you Watch the replay. Watch the replay. I went. I talked about the seven or eight archetypes of women, and today we're talking about the realtor. And I went down and said, "Who the realtor is? How she thinks? How she moves?" And man, you nailed it to a T. You nailed it to a goddamn T. And I see you every day. Oh, you're funny. No, you're common. Hmm. You're coming. All right. Let's get on into this. What's going on? What's going on? What is going on, man? Nieces and nephews, kin folks and cousins. Is it time to give up on the, the fantasy? It's back in the house and the house the dream. is packed. You guys like the new intro? Different way of doing things. Oh, my, 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 All right. You guys dig that? Did you guys dig that? The new kind of intro. It's in a TV, it's called a, what is it called? A cold open when you just jump immediately into it. Um, I'm trying to get, we're cutting the music down uh, to get more right into the program. And this is what I want you guys to say. Welcome. What's going on? What's going on? Your Godfather's back. Candle of the evening. Le Labo Cidra 11. Nice, smoky, Baroque fragrance. Fragrance of the day. Two from Killian. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Woohoo. Let me tell you. This one right here. Uh, La Our Vert. This, you got to wait for this. About 20 minutes into it, this becomes a beautiful fragrance. But this one right here. Gentlemen. Apple Brandy on the Rocks, buy it. Just buy it. Buy it, trust your godfather. The original Apple Brandy uh, was a boutique exclusive, uh, and the problem with it is it, it was so potent that it, if the cops pulled you over, they would think you might be drunk. Uh, but we, we have solved that problem with, with this last one. So, yeah, go ahead and just buy this one. Apple Brandy on the rocks. All right, now, the question is, 
are modern women proud to be selfish? Well, you saw from the entry that that is just one of hundreds, thousands of women I have talked to, I have met, and I have discussed. So shout out to that, that young lady. You know, she was pleasant. And you guys got to understand one thing, that whether we like it or not, this is what a lot of women have been taught to believe, that they can just be selfish and do what they want. And then all of a sudden, blah, blah, blah. That's why I'm making these archetypes. The marketer and the realtor are two very dangerous archetypes because one requires college. Understand something. The realtor mindset doesn't require college. You can go to college and those are two different people. When I was describing the realtor uh, on that lead in, I was describing one version of the realtor. That's the college realtor. She went to UGA. She went to Spelman. She went to school. She has a bachelor's. She pledged a sorority. She's, she's a hell of a lot easier to deal with. That second one, she's a college dropout. She's a college dropout, and by definition, you better run. Run, bitch! You better run, run, run. Meep, meep. She's a, she's a college dropout, went to junior college, like, typically is a single mother, probably came from, you know, very flighty. So understand, there are two different kind of realtors. So as I break, make these breakdowns and these archetypes, I'm going to start showing you guys photographs and things like that and videos of these people. And then I'm also going to make it to where this makes sense, folks. Look, I'm not trying to, to uh, make it hard on you ladies, but what I'm trying to let you understand is you're, you're not special like y'all think y'all are. Like I told her, a man of value is rare. The kind of shit that these ladies are on, very common. Ain't nothing special about a woman saying, I'm proud to be, I'm living my life, my truth, my power. And I'm going to tell you something else. These realtor types, the self, tend to be some of the most delusional, some of the most selfish ones around. Why? Uh... Issues, emotional damage. Hold on, just a second. Uh, emotional damage. Uh. All right, so. Mm. Sorry. Just drop it over there. Cool. All right. All right. My late night food just got back. Oh, thank gosh. So let's put this down here while it's throwing this off. So why are these women some of the most dangerous? Because just leave it over there. Uh, some of the most dangerous because they believe that simply believing on a star manifesting and this and all that, they can get what they want. That's why I asked that woman. She talked about divinity and the one for me. Gentlemen, don't argue with them. Don't argue with them. Let it go. 
Let it go. You got to let that stuff go. Because what will happen if you don't? They will frustrate you. They will frustrate you to no end. Because no one wants to tell someone to give up on their hopes or their dreams. But it's going to be required for you to have some sanity. And one of the things that I told her I think was most apropos is that wives aren't selfish. Wives aren't selfish. And when I asked her, if there's one man that was just destined for you, then why do you have another man's child? And what did she say? Uh, uh uh-oh, can't say anything about that one because it's bullshit. There is no true love. There is no destiny. What does it look like a man saying you gotta, you, you're destined to be with the one man, yet you come with another man's child? I want you guys to understand that if you watch that entire, well, last night was interesting on Instagram, but they're not uncommon. And they really, and modern women, far too many modern women believe that there is nothing that they can't accomplish. That's why I said this overly optimistic side of point of view. But my, my question is to the women out there, I wanted to ask the question, is it modern women? But what I find more interesting is it's not just modern women, it's single mothers. How are so many single mothers selfish? How are so many mothers selfish today? I don't understand. How can you be selfish and a mother? How can you be selfish and a mother then expect to be somebody's wife? Am I missing something here, guys? Ladies, am I missing something? Because to me, why would a man pick a woman who is in a selfish phase? Why would a man choose a woman who puts herself above her kid? This is why we we ask you ladies a question. Do y'all really believe this stuff that y'all are saying? And I don't think they really believe it. I think a lot of these ladies just that that you got nothing else. It's like, well, I got to say this because if I don't, I'm kind of screwed. What, what was the lead off yesterday was me asking women, at what point is it time to give up on the dream? Give up on the dream, give up on the fantasy. Uh, I'm going to say that this right now. Y'all need to get these likes up or the chat is going to get shut down. We're going to open a call line. Oh, that's another thing. I'm going to open a call line be so- sooner because you cannot be selfish in a wife. And, I, and she got offended when I asked her about her selfish phase. When I said, we're out here, quote unquote, doing deeds, and she got offended. Well, to all you ladies, what are you, what are you gaining out here in this dating market that's going to be of value to the kind of man you say you want? Recording or is progress. it the truth of the matter is you just don't give a shit? You just don't give a shit and you think that the men are just going to have to accept you any old kind of way with any old thing. Honestly, gentlemen, I think that's more or less the truth. I think that women believe that they're, I think that many women believe that but JJ is so good that a guy will just accept it. They believe their own hype so much. Are single Women slash mothers too selfish ladies only because I want to understand the men want to understand ladies. The men want to understand one thing. What, what's the value in 
you being somebody's mama? What's the value in you being selfish? What's the value in you being a selfish single mother? How, if a man sees that you are putting yourself above a child, what does that have? What what chance does he have? If you're above your child, what the French toast do you think you are telling us we are to you? Let's get it. Are modern women proud to be selfish? Are modern women proud to be selfish? You would think this you would think this would be a question that should be pretty easy to answer. You would think that most women would say, no, we're not proud to be selfish. Are you kidding me? I don't want to be selfish. I don't I don't want any part of that. But they do. Ladies, you might you gotta admit, you really, really, really do like being selfish. You put yourself first. In all things, you put yourself above the men you say you want. And then you wonder why men are shying away from relationships and marriages today. You wonder why men are saying, forget this. If you don't want to be on camera, you don't have to be. If you don't want to be on camera, boy, I do want to hear from the women today. What is going on with women today in this selfishness? Why are women so damn selfish today? I mean, it would be one thing if it was, you know, just the men. You know, even the men could be like, all right, you're selfish when it comes to the men. But damn, you're selfish even when it comes to your own kids. Even when it comes to your own children. Do y'all see that one video of the, the woman... And her sons, do y'all, do y'all not look at TikTok and you got these women twerking? I get videos sent to me every day of women in twerking and doing all kind of sexually suggestive stuff and then in pop their kid on them. In pops the kid. It's like, well, what? You got a video of a woman. Her son is asking for her and she's getting smashed. I mean, gentlemen, I know I, I, I'm not going to lie. I've been that dude before. Kids supposed to be asleep and you in there. Uh, 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 uh. And next thing you know, you know, there is nothing worse than when a little kid reaches his hand under the door frame for, and she tell him to go to bed, go back to bed. We didn't see each other after that. I'm like, my God, ladies, how is being selfish 
going to help you in a relationship? That is what the men are asking. Dead ass, dead ass, dead ass. How is being selfish helping you? I think I think that modern women and I'm not going to say modern people. I'm going to say women. Men today are far more giving than previous generations of men. You know, I have seen some straight up dudes that are just straight up. I mean, just beta, meaning that the woman can do almost anything. And as long as she's halfway decent to him, he'll accept it. Ladies, if you want to be selfish, can we be toxic? I mean, straight up toxic, what y'all call toxic. Is selfishness toxic? What do y'all think? Gentlemen, what do you think? Do you think it is okay to be, do you think modern women's selfishness has become toxic? I mean, it's one thing to, especially for the single mothers, it's one thing that you 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 made a mistake when you were younger. Hey, okay, you were in the team, but you can't. Y- y'all got to stop this. I was young. If you're over twenty three, if you're over twenty one, you wasn't young. You're a legal adult. But then, when women tend to become selfish, it's in a rebellious. It's usually a lashing out at the dude that broke their heart. It's like, all right, well. Are you selfish because you in your selfish phase? Or are you really just damaged? Uh, let's go, Angie. Angela, go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I feel like this is such a great topic. How are you? Good. Uh, how old are you? I'm 28. I'm married. Okay. So, um, let me uh, bring, bring. So, what, what's going on to Brittany? I see you. I'm going to speak to Angie for a second. All right. What's going on today? What is our modern women proud to? Why are modern women proud to be selfish? They're not just emotionally damaged, they're financially damaged. And my um my husband he's dealing with a very selfish baby mama he's like he's worked very hard but she's just bitter so i think it comes from a very hurt place that isn't healed and they take it on the children so okay i think it's what about women and what about women in general okay so i understand your personal situation but i want i'm asking a broader question Okay. When you see women today, especially women with children, I often see. Do you think modern women or modern single women or modern single mothers are selfish, especially regard to how they treat their kids? Mm. Yes, I do. Okay. Let me. Uh, uh, okay. So, Brittany. Brittany, let me unmute you. I'm going to tell you, I don't expect a woman to walk around in a potato or a snack cloth. But when I, when we see you and your hair is dyed, and your, your hair is laid, your nails is great, uh, and you feeding your kids, you know, come on, ladies. And next week, we're going to do, next week, we're going to focus on single mothers because it amazes me that women honestly have been taught to believe or that it's fine. And this shit is hard to be a single mother. Hey, Brittany, you, you need to unmute yourself. Being a single mother is hard. Hello, how are you? Good. I, I would ask not to be on camera. I'm sorry. Okay, that's fine. How old are you? I am 20. I'm about to be 27 in April. Are you single or are you married? I am single. All right. So what do you got? Why are modern women so proud to be selfish? I would... 
I'm going to piggyback off of Angie's or Angela's um, response. I really do feel like it has to do with not getting the therapy, the help, maybe from past relationships, past marriages, um, picking the wrong man, and also learning about dating with intention from you, Mr. Samuels. Um, a lot of women probably haven't learned to do that. And so just picking the wrong man and having those things done to them, it probably just messed them up mentally. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, you know, it would, I think it would be easy for a lot of people to understand that. Yes. But honestly, when I see more yeah. than anything else, it's a bunch of egotistical women. I don't see yes, women who have been walking around damaged. I see women doing more damage to men saying they've been hurt. I don't see, I mean, I grew up, <laughs> I don't see many women who are honestly, I, this is why I get a lot of pushback when you hear all this allegations of infidelity and abuse and this. I see more abuse from women to men. Yes, agreed. I think it's just easier. Like you, I've, I've been watching you since 2019. And like you said, there's so many more platforms for women to express themselves and to point the finger and say, well, it's your fault. It's your fault. And I think that's also why women today do take advantage of their children because they uh -huh. feel like their voice is louder, stronger. Your child no one questions child them. No one questions mm -hmm. them. Okay. Yes. Uh, hey, yes. Seb, I don't mean I'm muted. No, I think a lot of, I think a lot of women in this category don't want to be questioned. And then when somebody yeah. questions them, it's almost like, <gasps> Uh, yes. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hello, is your name Se Sivan? Sivan? Seven. How are you, Seven? Uh, something's fine. going on with your microphone, Brittany, so I'm going to have to mute you for a second. H how old are you? I'm 29. 29? Are you single or are you married? I'm single. Okay, any children? Yeah, I have three. How many fathers? Two. Okay, all right. So, I asked the question, all right. Why are, why are so many single mothers today proud to be selfish? Uh, I think that's a good question, too. I actually was trying to think um, from a certain pers perspective to where, because um, I, I, I don't want to sit there and be like one of the women who are like, oh, that's not me. I'm not selfish. Um, that will, I will want to think like more so like on a, grand scale like how are we selfish because we have the children and and you know left the fathers for the most part because I'm just gonna speak for me um is that what makes us selfish well what makes what makes you selfish is you care about yourself more than you care about anybody else meaning that let's say you got a child so let's say you and the father aren't together okay Mm -hmm. And let's say there's a child support in the custody order. You take you take your father you take the father's weekends and you plan a, a sleepover, knowing that man only gets a few days a week, a month. Okay. That's selfish. Yeah, that is selfish. It happens all the time. But I think. Th um... Let me let me give you something. Let me give you another example. Okay. Um. Keeping the boys after age seven. Hmm. That's selfish. Okay. What do you think about that concept? I think that I just learned something new. And I, I that's why I like listening to you. Um, I feel like you have this wisdom just that, like I didn't have an older man in my life talking like that. So now I never knew when I had just had a son. So keeping him until he's seven now is something where I think it, it is selfish. I think that I mean, I mean, the, after he's seven, I mean, it's like, yeah, the best woman can't raise a man to be a man. Okay. And if you've ever seen a, if you've ever seen a boy around a man, there's something that we can do with our voice that you can't do with a million threats. We can we can get a boy to stand up straight just with our voice. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, after he's no longer mama's baby boy, why do so many women keep 
their sons? Mm, um, I well, I know that answer. That's definitely out of um of ego and pride and selfishness. Really, it's just it's driven from lower lower uh, self. I think a lot of women. I, I think that. I think that. Um, I'm gonna mute you, other ladies. I think a lot of you. I think a lot of women. Go ahead and unmute yourselves, ladies. I think a lot of women um, expect to have the kids. I think a lot of women believe that they are the best parent. They believe the children belong to them. Mm -hmm. They believe that when the relationship is over with the man, that all I need from you is money and we are good. Cause, but is it best for the kids? Can I just well one thing Any, I, I anybody I, anybody y'all, y'all can all chime, go ahead uh, uh, Brittany and then seven then y'all else can chime in to go ahead go ahead seven oh okay so speak I don't want to speak from my um, scenario I kind of want to um, I I like what you're doing I feel like it's opening up a lot of women and making it making it making them kind of see that from the space that it's it is selfish from from this viewpoint, but I do believe that a lot of it is because of their feelings and emotions instead of allow and letting go and seeing that it it's, it's more about them. I don't know. I, I, I kind of, I see what you're saying, but I don't, I feel like it's not necessary. What do you mean? It's not necessary. Uh, for a woman to do all those things, I think that she should let go and not try to have so much control. Like she, you don't control the child. Um, so I got a question for all you ladies, what organization, institution, or what in society has the ability to check a woman and tell her she's doing wrong? Where can a modern woman today in the West be told she's wrong? None. Only the black men. None at all. A black man can't tell you shit. Barely that. Well, <laughs> they're supposed they're the ones that are speaking that are some of them are some uh 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 you got one I'm one black man and they've tried to basically crucify me for just telling saying what men think. Black men have the very least true. voice of any other race of men. Yeah. Very true. So my yeah. my question is my question is all right. Men are often told if we're doing good or bad, but it's like today, no one can tell a woman anything. And if you got, let's say you got a son to raise and you want your son to be a stand up man. Then you look at how these little, and you look at how women are raising their daughters. Do you want these daughters? Are, are, are you seeing women raise daughters that you want your sons to marry? Not at all. Then how, then who can, who can tell them, Hey mom, what you doing with these girls? It's up to us, honestly. It's really up to us. It honestly is. We have to hold each other accountable. How? Like how, to- how can? How can? But I know. I know that's a, a talking point. But I, I'm. I'm to the. I, I asked the question because I know that there is nothing that can check a woman today. Women have no checks. Mm-hmm. We're to the point to now where Chris Brown was just accused of a heinous crime. Mm-hmm. Because he goes to the chick. She sued him for 20 million, knowing she was lying. Is that woman in any jail? No. Free as all day long. And and what women are demanding that she goes to jail? None. Thank you. This whole thing with Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez. Starting to look kind of fishy. That man's had his entire life. So my my point is, if men can't check you, y'all can't check a woman. Why do we believe women are just these? And why it's, it's there's no wonder why women feel like they can do no wrong. Y'all are like little mini gods. Am I right or wrong in this one? Yeah. Mm. Seven, That's what are you thinking? Right. <laughs> I think that we are attracted to black men like you that do so, speak up, that are willing to 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 listen and, and and really try to recorrect a lot of things. 
So I, I, but I do believe there's nothing we could do about some that don't want to. Well, well, okay. You're attracted to black men like myself, but are you, but do you mate with black men like me? I mate with ones that want to mom me for some reason. Mm-hmm. So the answer is. Well, I'm not as I am submissive. Um, but I have um, to see too many words, folks. When you start hearing too many words, they're trying no. to cover up. The answer is no. No. So what message does that send men? We like men who say X, Y, and Z. We like men like you, but then we go make babies with these guys. This is where I think the conversation has to get to because men have been screaming for the longest. But now you women who have daughters, you got to look at how the women are raising the boys and women are raising. Y'all are in charge. Women want to be in charge. And now you hear a lot of women saying, "Uh uh-uh, we want y'all to be in charge now. No. 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 You drove it in the ditch. Now you want us to pull it out? We'll be in charge of the women that ain't in the ditch. The women that that have no children unmarried, we'll be in charge of them. But the women that already have kids, the women that are already in fifty, seventy, a hundred thousand dollars worth of debt for a communications degree, absolutely not. Is is that is that cold hearted? No. <laughs> I don't believe y'all. <laughs> I don't believe y'all. I think y'all just saying that because no. I, y'all, I think y'all, I think y'all really want us to do something with them. Mm, I believe there's some, there's some for, there are some, but I would, I, I would say it's a small percentage that. There's some what? There's, there's some what? There's some what? There are some men that want to deal with it, and there are some that don't. We want to deal with women whose lives are off the rails. Well, I, it's it's different for each person. You know, like everybody has different scenarios. For me, I was, I would say that I am not a selfish single mother, but I, I guess for certain reasons. You know like how me, I would, I, let me tell you something, Seven. Let me tell you how I would answer that. Before you could say that, you have two, you have three children by two men. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you seeing anybody right now? No. How did it, how did two fathers get along? Well, one was incarcerated since she was four months. All right. I was going to say you can't the way you say you're not a selfish mother. I, the men would have to say that. Would if the I'm men selfish or not? Yep. What would they say? Um, I I get along with the girlfriends. Um, I let them. I share them. They're not mine. I don't own them. Okay. Um, I guess ultimately, ladies, what I'm getting you to understand is what you think of yourself is one thing, but you got to understand, we yeah. always hear the worst parts. We, we, need to be, we need to be able to hear from the men's mouth what you are. Well, I think they would feel like um, they would have thought feelings like um, that they didn't, there was no reason for me to leave them or something. Okay. Hey, Brittany. Um, so... Yeah. How, okay, so uh, hold on, hold on, Seven. You said you have one child, and the father's been in, incarcerated since she was four months. What about the other two? There, um, I only have two. I thought you had three children by two men. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, one father had one of the fathers had one, the incarcerated father has two children. He has one. And the other one, where the was he one, doing? Uh, he's in and out of his grandma. He lives at a girlfriend's house and he's sleep sleeping. He's sleeping on the floor right now. Why are you making babies with these men? I've known him. I've known him since I was a kid. I just, that was my comfort. Hmm. And that it may, it may sound like trauma or I might, I do know that it's mental, but I just, who was going to say something, Brittany? Were you going to say something? Yeah. Yeah. Cause Mr. Samuels, I know you've touched on this before about, um dating with intention and picking the right men because i guess you could say it's selfish because we're picking either 
we're not dating. Yes, thank so you. What are you leaving the community? Really, yes, we're leaving the relationships, which is hurting the children because we we need to understand how important the father role is mm -hmm. in the child's life. And so when we pick these men, mm -hmm. and we seven, did you hear? Do you understand what she's saying? Oh yeah, I'm listening. Because really you have three it. children by two men who are just, let's say, not up to par. How about that? Mm -hmm. yes. That puts a strain on the public education system, the teachers, the counselors, everybody who has to deal with your children are impacted by the choices of who you, who women like yourself choose to make fathers. That's selfish. Because unless your children are assets everywhere they go, like when I like like the way I was raised, I was raised to know that you better you represent our family. So everywhere you go, you better at least cause no problems. But the standard is you bring value. I didn't get to make B's in school. I was told to make A's. I didn't get an I didn't get an option. You make an A because your last name is Samuels. That was the that was the ground because if you represent the family, so I was a pleasure to be around. As the teachers loved me, I was a teacher's pet. All that stuff because my mother at the time, my mom being a single mother was not a badge of honor. And they knew that at least you're going to make your children be something of value. So. I think mothers are selfish by the, we have to judge the mother by the product, the children. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah, I want to judge the community by the man. So if we judge the woman by the product, which is the children, what are, what, what are, what are, what would we say the, the state of our women are today? Of women. Oh, okay. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> we can identify the problem. What are y'all ready to do? Are y'all ready to fight fight them for to do for a better outcome? Because they're gonna fight back. Do you go tell somebody that, they, that they're a selfish mom and they're they're, they're self making selfish decisions and you impacting the neighborhood or whatever? You think they're gonna just say you right? Oh no, I personally. Um, I have a son before I got married, and the best. You you cut out. You cut out a little bit. Hello? You had a son before you got married, then what? And um, I the best decision I made was allowing my son's father, who I do believe is a very masculine man, to raise my son, which led my husband now to see okay i see how your mindset is even though you do have a child that's out from my bloodline men also like that a lot of women are like oh men don't like women with kids it's how you carry yourself and how you're raising your child you have now because why would a man want to have a, another child with you and you're not yeah but mm -hmm. if, if you have a child let me talk to the women who have kids if you have if you have child sons most you should have them for seven years. They should, even if you're a baby mama right now, ship the sons off to the, ship them off to their daddy. Guess what? You ain't got a kid no more. You're supposed to raise the daughters. Mm -hmm. But let's be honest. How many women today are too hard hearted to do what's right? For every, for the kid, the community, and everybody else. No, it's a this. Now I played that woman not to embarrass her because she is emblematic of so many women. I'm living my. It's my selfish time. Me, 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 me. And I'm like, we don't get to do that if we're gonna have kids. Do you know how many women talk down to a woman? who actually do believe in that and walk away from their child because they believe that the father can raise a child as well. Who, who gives a shit? Who gives two donkey shits what somebody says? This is true, but they I definitely... Mean, but, 
I can because, see why because, you're saying because, this. I mean, because, okay, I hear what you're saying. Women will say this, this, this. But why do you think they're saying that? Because you're right. But why am I know I'm right? But <laughs> if you but but if if a woman were to give up the child to her father, that that will put pressure on her to do something. It's no different than if you are around a bunch of people who have health unhealthy eating habits and don't exercise. As soon as you start to clean up your diet and exercise, oh girl, you getting too skinny. Oh da 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 da. Why? Because it puts pressure on them. They can do something about it. And my question and the question to the women is this pride, this selfishness is destructive. It's one of the seven deadly sins. Mm -hmm. Women today are extremely prideful. For what, though? This is OK. Um, I'm going to uh, let me see. Hold on. Uh, if there are a, a, a guy or two that want to pop in, here's the thing as a guy. You must be over 35 to call in. You must be over 35 to call in. Well, over 30 to call in. Because uh, if you're going to be offering opinions or points of view, you got to understand people are going to qu- ask who are you to say these things. Um, Brit- Go ahead. I wanted to add on to that too. My mother, she like, we fell out so bad because I made that decision because she had five kids, had all of us. And my mom was never married, but she always felt like these are my kids. I control the situation. And because I was always like, you know, no matter what my, my relationship is with my son's father, he's going to be in his life. My mom never agreed with that, ever. Speak on, that, because, speak on that more because I want you guys to understand how many women get pressure from women to do the wrong thing. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, and she would be like, no, you need to do this, you need to do that. And I kind of like, I never listened to it because it's like, mom, you have five kids, like four different men, and none of them are around. So it's well, like, are you ladies? Are you ladies prepared to walk? Ladies prepared to walk. What? What's that? What, what was that? That was somebody's speaker. Okay, so, uh, ladies, you're gonna have to be prepared to walk away from your. Let me say something. Hey, free, what's going on? Uh, we need to get these super chats up, folks. Um, Ladies, hear what I'm about to say. You have to be prepared to walk away, detach with love. Something I had to learn in therapy from the women in your family, your so-called friends and your network. If you want to have a better outcome, you know how. Women who have a chance of winning are held down by the other crabs around them because by you having a chance to win and settling for what they have, they feel better. Y'all got to escape. Y'all got to escape these other women. How can I mute yourselves? I don't know whose microphone was doing that, but go ahead. Um... If you have anything to say, you can unmute yourself. Um, Pride. Today, I I listen to so many women online making content. And the term masculine is an understatement. Modern women, your voice is getting deeper. You're using more vulgar words. And it's like, you ladies are, are going to have to make a decision to either be ladies or something else. But you can't be around women who are motherfuck this and fuck that and fuck fuck and he fuck my, my this, my that, my nigga, my hoe. If a woman is talking like that, why are you in that woman's presence? It doesn't matter how she looks because none of that energy is helping any of you guys. Um, 
guys, the link is there. If you're a guy you want to call in, because I, I really want to hear from, I see, uh, you, you, your microphones, um, you can unmute yourself in the chat room if you need to. Um, the pressure so many women get on them to just stay stuck. In particular, of the boys. My kid, because honestly, especially like, let's say the, the, not the woman I talk to, but women who think like that. If you take the kid, you take their power. Children give women, they're like a sword and a shield. They can attack the man. They can defend themselves from all kinds of things. But are they doing it for the kid's benefit? And we're not supposed to talk about it. We're supposed to shut up. Actually, we're supposed to hold the man accountable and say he's bad. No, 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 no. Um, all right. Does anybody else? Do you ladies have anything else you want to add or are you good? Unmute yourself. Ask them to unmute. Go Am ahead. Am I unmuted? Yep. You're all unmuted. Okay. What I was going to say was I also think that modern women are selfish just due to not just maybe things in their past relationships, but like you were saying, like listening to whether it be their mother is about like, you don't need a man, all of these things, go get your education. And it makes them just very selfish. Okay. Why? Where do you ladies think the you don't need a man thing? What? Where'd that come from? Anybody? The new. I think that's something. Um, since the white man is the government. Well, I don't want to say that. Let me take that back. The government has been taking care of um, and taking out the black man of the household that saying came up because I know of an 85 year old that told me it's better than half a man and no man at all. So if she came up with that, that must be, I know that mindset wasn't there. When you say the government was taking the man out of the house, what, what do you, what do you mean? You don't have to, you don't have to be exact, but what do you kind of mean? Um, okay. Uh, as far as, um, with the woman being able to go into like base income houses or section eight and they can't bring the men with them, mm -hmm. uh, they get assistance with food stamps, but mm -hmm. they, but if they turn the father in, then they have to get child support. Right. All the, all the, little when do you, okay. So there was, there used to be a law. It used to be a part of to get in, in order to qualify for government housing or food stamps, things like that. There's a movie called Claudine with, Diane Carroll and James Earl Jones that puts this into context. But that ended in the late, in the, in the 70s, 80s, early 80s. That hasn't been a thing for a long, long time. It did exist. Mm -hmm. But most black people didn't live in the projects. See, I think we talk about the black community in terms of densely populated cities like Detroit, Chicago, New York City, mm -hmm. things like that. And we talk about projects. I'm from Oklahoma. M most of us didn't live in Cabrini Green. Okay. But I want us to understand that how it's so easy to adopt a story that had a lot of truth to it and use it for, to explain it, what more likely happened was um, right, wrong, or indifferent. There is no quote unquote big boogie man, white man today. Black women are free. You're educated. Uh, you can do pretty much whatever you want to. Why don't they want to be with their men? When every other race of women wants, likes their men, 
So the question I'm going to ask is, do, do you think the average sister likes the average black man? Not love, likes. Mm. Hecking off. No. Y'all aren't on camera. You can say the truth. You're not on camera. <laughs> what do you think? No, I definitely don't. Be, it's just so many, like I said earlier, there's so many outlets and platforms where you can hear a woman degrade the, the role yeah. of a man being in your life. And because of that, you can just be like, I don't need a man. I don't, I don't need but a then man. You a but then here's there's the so funny many. thing. There are women who are adamant about not dating black men who are on record being in abusive relationships with white men. I heard this this very week, and the woman sitting back saying, yeah, well, yeah, I lost my baby. Yeah, he beat the shit out of me, and I lost my baby, but, you know, things happen. He apologized. What? And that was an extreme case, but it's like you ask a lot of women, what happened and it's usually some, I saw this or I saw that. It's, it's been my experience. This stuff doesn't necessarily happen directly to these folks. Mm -hmm. So if you're free to be with us, I think it's fair to say, I think black women hear what I'm about to say. How many times have you ladies heard black women say, I love black men? And I'm like, here come the insults. Yes. <laughs> here come the insults. I love black men. We're like, here it comes. That bus is never late. I love black men is the primer for a shit ton of insults. It never <laughs> is late. But what you don't hear is I like black men. I like who black men are. I like being around them. Mm -hmm. I like who they are. Y'all don't like us. Love and like is definitely different. Yeah, because love is 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 we're associated with love, with struggle, and everything else. Like is only associated with a positive feeling. That's why it doesn't say get the loves up; it say get the likes up. So if you don't like us, then how do you raise a boy into something you don't even like? Mm -hmm. So um, you, build, you break it down and build up how you want it to be. Uh, let's do this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try to let. Hold on, just a second, Lexi. I'm gonna come to you to unmute you. Hello. How are you? I am well. Um, how old are you? Okay, what do you have for us on the topic? Well, I'm not a mother, um, okay. but I can definitely say that black modern women are very selfish. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. I can say this. Um, what are you basing that on? Well, just from my own personal experience, and um, I can probably give my reason why I've been selfish, um, especially okay. in my 20s. Um, it was a little split for me. Um, my mother's side, um, I did grow up in a household where both of my parents were married um, and my grandparents were married. Um, my parents are divorced now, but um, I'm very close to my father. Um, I'm actually closer to my father than my mother. So I did have a, um, a great upbringing when it came to how to view men and black men, a, a very great influence. But then with my mm -hmm. dad's side, that's where the educated single, I don't need a man, <laughs> mm -hmm. women come from. And I spent a lot of my time uh, staying with them. And I was always, it was instilled in me to go to school. You don't need a man for nothing. You know, they had nice jobs, nice cars, and they were reading those Harlequin romance. <laughs> yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100, Kevin. So Yeah, I know. <laughs> those Zane books, those sisters. Yeah, books. Zane novels. and uh, but, but my question is, where did the link between having a job and a man, those two things, they got nothing to do with one another. Ed an education don't have nothing to do with a man. Do you think Kevin Samuels, um, I could be wrong, uh, new wave feminism? Well, 
the well, the third wave feminism. Yes, I'm sorry. That's okay, but the feminists have men. Hmm. Hmm. You go back to the first wave or well, second wave feminism in the '60s and '70s. National Organization for Women, Equal Rights Administration. These women were married. A lot of these women had men. Go watch Miss America. Betty Verdan and uh, Phyllis Schlafly. See, the, the quote-unquote white feminists will ride that feminism stuff up to a point. But they know where the hell to get off that equality shit and it ends at lifting up <laughs> a weapon or fighting. <laughs> where are all the feminists in Ukraine coming this way? <laughs> But black women, you wrote it way, you wrote it past equality. You wrote it past choice to equality to combat with your men. I mean, I want you guys to be honest. You know, I mean, people want to cancel me. But have you ever listened to some of how some of these women talk about black men, abort black babies and bullet ba- Just some, I've heard some of the, there, there are neo. There, there are a racist who would be like, "God damn!" <laughs> and part of you like, is that mental illness? It's like, <laughs> what is this deep seated hatred of who? I mean, and just a, where? Because every black man ain't done nothing to you to the point to where you should be proud to be away from us. And it ain't, here's the funny thing, and I'll let it go. It would be one thing if being single and all these things were making you better, meaning happier. Mm -hmm. But I don't see any of these women happier. So, okay, let's do this. We're going to bring a few more people in. So, yeah, feminism, first wave. Feminism, second wave, feminism, first wave. Feminism can only be blamed to a point, just like the government, just like the white supremacy, just like that. Still a choice. I mean, today, 2010 cents, you can still choose. Are you uh, women choosing to turn towards, like if, here's the one thing, you want to know how black men would know Black women really, really were choosing black men. You know, that number that's 80 percent overweight would drop to 10, 20 or 30. If if half of the black women dropped their weight, that would be a straight up boom, because all black men have been asking the fit, feminine, friendly, childless, submissive, your own natural hair for my lifetime. That would be a clear cut sign, because that means you'd have to do some work. Go to the gym. Why are you doing it? Because I want a man. Oh, shit. Hello. How are you, Paris? How old are you? I'm 25. All right. Well, you came into the right conversation. So what do you got? (laughs) Feel free to speak. No one can see you. Because this is Uh, important. This is important. um, Yeah. So you talked about. um, Are modern women proud to be selfish? Yeah, so I think one of the big things is the fact that, uh, well, at least in my experience, I really wasn't taught to do anything else. (laughs) Um, You had a conversation a while back with another young woman. She was in college, I think, and uh, you told her, hey, go ask your mom why she didn't teach you anything. And I did. I asked her a whole bunch of stuff. And it was like uh, the response that I got was like, well, you don't really need to do anything to find a partner. Just 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 worry about being independent. Make your own money that person will come along when they come along. Was your mother and, married? Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's my dad. So let me explain what I do. Guys, I often point out the fact that married women actively did not teach their daughters to be wives. Active. This was an active decision. And it's as crazy as it sounds. You have women who, how do I know even go there? Because I've talked to thousands of women who have told me they were married and their mother didn't teach me anything. So, and you're 20 how old again? 25. So, did your mother ever watch my show? Uh, no. 
<laughs> have you ever, have you, did you know about it? Miss you to her. <laughs> huh? I would be scared to even introduce your show to her. <laughs> Why? You know what? She's, um, well, my mom went to college, like, around the time, I guess, when the big, like, the feminism thing was really happening. The sexual okay. Thing. But she's got really, really strong opinions on it. And it's like, it always leads to a fight between us. Always. <laughs> so That's why you turn on to my program, because, see, here's the thing. What do I say that your mother would disagree with? Um, no one can see you. Partly, partly the fact that we have a responsibility to each other, um, to the community. Because for her, it's kind of like, hey, um, she's kind of living for herself. She kind of did her own thing, and then that was it. You know, did, she got what, hold on. Was your, you said your mother is married to your father? Yeah. How many kids do you, do you, how many siblings do you have? Um, I have two older sisters. Are either, are any of you ladies married? No. So your mother had three daughters and she taught y'all to be independent uh, and raised you to believe you only have a responsibility to yourself. Right. Okay. What other race of people live that way? I couldn't tell you. Okay. So have you ever asked your mother why she believes this? Um, no, not why. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I guess I haven't really gotten that far into it. I mean, it took me a year of just watching you to even get to the point of asking her, like, hey. Are you afraid of your mother? A little, yeah. <laughs> Do you think that's healthy? No one can see you, dear. I'm not no. even looking at you. Definitely not. No, it's not. Gentlemen, I need you guys to understand how many black women are terrified of their mothers. I know women who are accomplished. PhD, Ivy League, MBA, well-heeled. And I cannot tell you how many times I've told women that something that they need to do or confront with their mother and they become little girls right before my eyes. The transformation is instantaneous and it's terrifying all at the same time. I'm talking about women who have argued cases before the Supreme Court. And you need to say, and it's like, oh no, I could never. That is a power reserved for God. You, we, Gentlemen, I don't think we understand how many girls live in fear of their mother because they didn't get loved growing up. They got directed. They didn't get fathers who made them little girls and princesses and feel safe. Their mothers taught them how to survive. Imagine this. These mothers are Spartans. And these young women are hopla. This is Sparta. You, while other girls are in the kitchen or doing arts and crafts and Girl Scouts and sleepovers and things like that, girls are either a disruption to their peace or their time, so they're shooed away. But they better get help with the housework and this and that. Man, <laughs> man. Did I miss anything? No, you read me like a book. <laughs> uh huh. Pa uh, uh, think of Cinderella. The fairy godmother was there because Cinderella's mother died. How many black girls are raised with a Cinderella like syndrome, but they never get to be Cinderella? They just get the abuse. So, they love their mothers, but it's not a healthy love. It's not a reverence. It's a fear. You can watch women. Hell, you can see men who can be in charge of everything else. But in the black community, there is so much fear of big mama. And you think about where it comes from. My grandmother, I, I respect and admire her. I never feared her. 
I didn't fear my mother. I had a healthy reverence of her, but I know why so many of these children feared because of the abuse that we don't talk about. So many of these children are getting abused verbally, emotionally, financially, and in some cases, physically. And no one's supposed to say nothing about it. And then they get out in the world and act like it's all all right. Then you see this woman at 21 and her mama 45 years old and now they're living like sisters. I've heard daughters and mothers fight like Hatfields and McCoys. I've heard mothers and daughters say some of the, I wish I had never been born. I should have aborted you. I should, I'm telling you, I don't even want to see, say some of the shit that I've heard. And now that it's out and we talk about it on the internet, so many women are finally starting to hear that they're not crazy, they're not alone. And I've said it before, Generation X and baby boomers, the women owe a debt to the girls. Y'all owe these girls an apology. The burden that could be lifted off of so many women if these mothers would start acknowledging their abuse of their daughters and stop deflecting. I was young. I didn't know this. I didn't know that. Whatever. Just own that shit. And give your daughters a chance to live because there's no way a black daughter should live in fear of her mama. Don't say anything, sweetheart. You don't have to say anything on that subject. I'm go ahead and bring somebody else in. All right. So this is why I'm such a big proponent of therapy. Because as an adult, you can't reparent yourself. You have to get some help for these complex emotions. The, the boys that grow into men deal with this, and the woman, the girls that grow into women deal with this. The world does not care about our issues or traumas. Why it is what it is doesn't matter. We got to do something about it on our own. Uh, hello, Rena, Nina, Nina, Nina. All right, Nina, or Rena, I don't know. Well, she's not responding. Uh, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. Um, That was heavy. <clears throat> Hello? All right. Well, thank you, ladies. I, I'm not going to bring y'all back in after that. Whew. I've seen a lot. <laughs> I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot. Um, there are a lot of therapists in Atlanta, and I've actually put this out on Instagram, and I'm going to put the call out again. If you are a, a, a therapist, a licensed therapist, Therapist, psychologist, uh, spe especially if you're black, black men, I, I need to hear from you. I need to hear from you. There, there are a lot of black women. I need to hear from you as well. But I need to hear from the black male, the black men who are clinicians in mental health.
Because I get asked every day for recommendations. Uh, I'm going to ask some questions, though. I'm going to run you through some paces. Only about the business, though. Because this isn't a death sentence. That little bit right there, hell, it may, I don't know what the hell I just said. Uh, other than the goddamn truth. All you can do is say the truth, and what happened with the truth just happened. But you, you, I guarantee that little bit helped a lot of people. Yeah, I, I don't think I have anything else after that. I don't think I have anything else after that. I, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Good night.